Welcome back, everybody. We're here to pull cards for November the 28th. I am going to be pulling one card for each sign after I pull one card for overall energy. And we're going to see how those energies blend together to create the message for each sign as we go through the day. So overall energy shows up as doo -doo -doo. four of wands in reverse. This can talk about being away from home. This can talk about detaching. This can talk about separating. Um, if this is talking about separating, this is my um, card that talks about separating for the short term. Um, that this person, if they separate, whether it's you or whether it's somebody else, then they are coming back. Okay, so this could be somebody going off to college, somebody going to the military. This could be if you're in some kind of disagreement with the partner and you decide to separate, this just says whether you realize it or not when this happens, this is temporary that that person will be back, whether it's you or whether it's somebody else. I've never seen this come up as a permanent separation, but it does show me it comes up whenever there is um, a separation that happens that will end up being resolved. So we've got the that card coming up. Also, it can be detaching emotionally. It can be detaching physically. Um, and it is away from home. So it could talk about being on a business trip or being on vacation. Like I said, going to school, going to college or university, um, you know, something going on that's taking you away from home, but you're not going to be away from home forever. You're going to be coming back whenever this card comes up in reverse. Okay. Now let's look at how this plays out for each sign here today. Aries. Ten of Swords showing up. We like this. So Ten of Swords with that overall energy. And if you didn't listen to the overall energy, you're going to want to. Um, Ten of Swords just talks about an end to being away from home or an end to detachment or an end to separation. We like it. All right. Next up, we're looking at Taurus. Nine of Wands showing up in reverse. So there is um, some type of separation or detachment that is happening that it comes as a surprise to you. Now, that doesn't mean that you're not the one doing this. You could be the one detaching or separating, uh, but you definitely were not expecting to. Or it could be that somebody else is detaching or separating. Somebody else maybe is going on a business trip and it's a surprise. It kind of comes out of the blue, or at least it's a surprise to you, if not to them. Okay. Next up, we're looking at Gemini, Princess of Swords. This is interesting. This tells me that there's some type of separation or where somebody is away from home or away from the home base, if this is at work, and you're, you're just finding out about this. So you may be um, finding out information about, well, somebody's traveling from business for the office and they went to Bali. Well, why did they go to Bali? I would like to go to Bali. <laughs> You know, uh, could be anything like that. You could be finding out, you know, what is this person doing while they're out on this business trip? What are, you know, this person went on vacation. I'm just now finding out about it. So Princess of Swords is, is really digging for information, finding out information about the idea that somebody is away from home or away from the home base or they've detached or they've separated. Uh, so finding out information about that. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Cancers. Four of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles. All right, so Cancers, this tells me that you are saving back energy or resources or something because you do want to go away from home. Maybe you're saving up for some kind of trip. We like it. Sorry about all the noise while I take a sip there. But saving up for some kind of trip for getting a chance to get away. Okay, so we see you saving up for that. We don't necessarily see that happening today, but we see the not the trip at least, or not the not the detachment, but we do see you preparing for it financially, and maybe even getting some things together as well. This could also talk about if you need a wardrobe. This could talk about putting together a wardrobe and and getting that ready as well. With that Four of Pentacles, it's about stashing something back and. Whatever it is you're stashing back, whether it's money, wardrobe, or anything else, you're stashing it back for this time when you're going to be away from home or away from your home base. All right, so that's Cancer. Next up, we're looking at Leo. 
Okay, so Leo's Queen of Pentacles showing up here. Leo's, I think that you are spending some time away from home, and as you're away from home, you're finding that time rejuvenating. You may be getting, you know, some spa treatment or uh, doing some kind of wonderful self care. So I think that you are finding this rejuvenating. It probably has to do with some self-care, whether that's actually consciously chosen or whether that is just part of part of how you wanted this time away from home to be. For some of you, and this is for uh, the minority of you, but for some of you, you're doing something away from home where you're hosting or hostessing some type of retreat or get together and you're sharing some of the good that you have with others whether that good is information or whether it's something else either way I do see you sharing that with others okay so and that's going to be the minority of you but a lot of you it's going to be about uh, just getting some self-care and rejuvenation replenishment from for yourself as you're away from home like I said, for the minority of you, you're going to be leading retreats or seminars or something like that where you're sharing some of the good you have, whether that's information or something else, sharing that with other people. Okay, so coming in a couple of different ways for you, Leos. Next up, we're looking at Virgo. Three of Wands. This just tells me that you are making some long-term plans. These plans probably have to do with moving your home or your home office. Uh, but they also could have to do with long-term plans for a trip or a travel uh, situation where you will be coming back to your home. Next up is Libra. Ten of Pentacles showing up for Libra. This just says that right now the idea of getting away from home or the home base actually adds to your sense of security and stability right now. Maybe this is time for you and your spouse to get away and have some together time and really rebuild that bond that could be going on, definitely. Um, it could be that you're out on a business trip and you bring in a really big client and that adds stability and security. No matter how you slice it, whichever way it manifests, this just talks about increasing your level of stability and security um, while you are away from home or away from home base. All right, so we like it. That's good. Seems fun. Scorpio, Scorpio, Hermit, Hermit coming up here. Okay, so Scorpio, this just means that we're going to be spending some time away from home, probably some time alone or isolated, um, thinking about what are our priorities, where do we want to be going next, where are we going from here, that type of thing. Not unusual for us to be doing that. Course correcting, making course corrections. Next up, we're looking at Sagittarius, Sagittarius. Okay, Four of Wands showing up in reverse along with the High Priestess. Sagittarius, I think that it's very likely that you may be going somewhere to see somebody who knows how to work with energy, whether that's an energy healer of some sort, um, Reiki, shamanism, whatever, or whether this is a reader um, somebody like me or who does readings with other different tools, whatever. Uh, but I think that you're going away from home to interact with this person. Interesting, interesting, interesting. And I'm also going to say that some of you may be meeting this with this person online or at a distance, but I really think for a lot of you, like this is something that is coming up as being an in-person experience. Capricorn. Queen of Cups coming up in reverse with that Four of Wands. Ooh, Capricorn, this is somebody who I feel like they have detached from you. And yet, <laughs> and yet, um, I think this person is having a volcanic-sized emotional explosion. And you get to witness it. Um, for some of you, yes, this explosion will be more focused on you, but not for most of you. For most of you, you're witnessing this, and this person may be wanting to um, kind of cry on your shoulder or use you as a little bit as somebody that they can recover with over this. Okay. And then let's look at Aquarius. Okay. Aquarius coming up with some Nunos across from that Four of Wands. In reverse, 
So Aquarius, it looks like you have definitely are going to be facing some type of temptation to do something that is away from home or that would take you away from home. Um, it's really important as you're making any decisions like that to make sure that you're not making them from a toxic or a triggered place so that you can make any decisions like that in a very healthy way because it is going to be very tempting to go into that trigger space today. Okay, so let's try to avoid that if we can. Pisces. For else showing up, we like that. Um, this really talks uh, to me the, about... The idea that you may be going to see somebody about some type of healing that is away from home. Okay. Um, healing is making whole. It is putting things in harmony. So that can be happening in the physical body. Sometimes that happens with finances. Um, you know, we can heal our financial situation. We can heal our emotions. We can heal our anxieties. We can heal our mental health. So I do feel like there's somewhere where you're going that is not at home that helps you to address some issue that needs to be healed up or something that harmony needs to be brought into a situation. So you're going away from home to somebody who can help you with that today. Okay. So that's what I've got for everybody today. Thank you all so much for being here. I do appreciate all of your kind support. Everyone have a fantastic day. And of course, remember, thumbs up on this video, give me some feedback and share it with others if you feel the desire. You guys are my wonderful supporters. Everybody have a fantastic day. Peace out.